Hello, my name is Richard Hastings and I'm a member of Tarmac's national technical team. In this session, we will look at an asphalt servicing that provides long-term durability and life cycle benefits compared to the commonly used high friction surface course. We will look at the common problems experienced on our highways today and by investment, how long-term life cycle benefit can be achieved. These benefits will include carbon saving from reduced maintenance interventions and efficiencies gained through reduced programs on schemes. The aim of high friction surface course is to provide improved road safety. The surface treatment is a combination of binder and calcine bauxite aggregate. The calcine bauxite aggregate has two key properties. It is ANSI abrasive, which is a description of its irregular particles of hard material free from cutting edges and its resistance to polishing, meaning that it maintains its high polished stone value. HFS is installed at locations where there is a high risk of accidents and where motorists are required to slow down or stop quickly. These properties enable braking distances to be shortened and the risk of skidding to be decreased. HFS is commonly used across the UK and while its surface maintains its integrity, highway safety objectives are met. However, durability is a problem. High friction surface course does not demonstrate high levels of durability. Under due diligence, highway inspections are undertaken on failed HFS locations and the risk position and accident statistics are reviewed. HFS locations often require a regime of continued maintenance, resulting in multiple intervention over the years. As you can see from the image, the backstop surfacing is hot rolled asphalt and pre coated chippings, which is exposed and likely to need replacing well ahead of what would be in its normal life cycle. Recognising the issue, Tarmac sought an alternative solution to solve the durability issues associated with HFS. In the late 90s, Shell collaborating with Tarmac developed a high performance synthetic clear binder. This binder, along with colour pigments and complementary coloured aggregates, provided a range of coloured asphalt for a full range of applications. This coloured asphalt is known by Multicolour brand. Tarmac's development team embarked on a project to extend this technology to innovate an asphalt specifically designed for risk applications where HFS was being used. In 2001, the first scheme was laid. This image was taken two years after the surface was laid. The banner on the HGV's ergonomic accessory there must have been fate. No problem. Oh, time will tell. The asphalt incorporates shells, metafelt seed, synthetic clear binder, pigment, and calcine bauxite aggregate. This is the asphalt we brand as Altigrip. A 10 mil thin surface asphalt that is laid with the same parameters as other asphalts but unlike HFS, it's not seasonally affected. The location is the A6 Rowsley in Derbyshire, a busy junction with a sweeping 60 degree bend and 90 degree side road. Therefore, this section will be subjected to considerable stresses. Time has told. This image, uh, again of the A6 Rowsley, was taken earlier this year. It shows the asphalt's proven track record of long durability some 20 years after laying. The surface continues to provide skim results above the requirements set out in the design manual for roads and bridges. In October 2016, Tarmac laid grip on a high risk section of the M25 clockwise off slip onto the A21. Subsequently, the asphalt has continued to demonstrate durability on a very highly trafficked motorway and is delivering stable scrim results. In 2017, Ulti Grip was awarded BBA HAPAS Clause 942 Thin Surface Course Approval. The quality and characteristics of the calcine bauxite aggregate selected in the manufacture of Ulti Grip are key to its performance and durability. Initially, the asphalt was manufactured with a buff colored bauxite. Indeed, the M25 asphalt was manufactured with buff aggregate, but the client requested that we manufacture the asphalt with a grey pigment so that visually the carriageway appeared to the motorist as being a normal asphalt. 
This related to the recognition that motorists have become aware of anti-skid and have changed their driving behaviour accordingly. Some time ago, Buff Bauxite aggregate meeting the very high, higher standards for our auto grip became unavailable. We are continuing to pursue source alternative sources. However, grey bauxite is now used in auto grip manufacture. The grey surface has the benefit of not being recognised by motorists of being anti-skid and is therefore can be safer as they do not consciously increase cornering speeds and shorten braking distances, which can be the case of buff surfaces on risk locations. This case study information is taken from a submission made by A1 Plus to Highways England as part of their supplier recognition scheme. Area 12 A64 scheme was completed in May 2017. As with all schemes, A1 Plus de deployed an integrated delivery team comprising of design, commercial and construction resources under, under a single leadership project manager. Together they set out and agreed three key objectives for the scheme. One, provide better life cost solution to deliver efficiency savings. Two, plan to minimise unplanned maintenance interventions and resultant customer delays to provide benefit to the customer experience, and three, enhance road worker and customer safety. A collaborative problem solving exercise with our supply chain identified Ultigrid as a pavement solution to meet the scheme objectives. We developed a scheme to replace the existing high friction surfacing with a surface with 2,450 square metres of a single layer of ultra grip surface laid at 40 mil depth. The environmental benefits that were delivered were traditional high friction surface cores can often fail to deliver expected long term performance in terms of durability and longevity, with experience showing that replacement can be every two to three years to maintain performance at high risk sites. This regular replacement cycle can also damage the underlying asphalt surface, which may require replacement earlier than would normally be expected. The scheme objectives delivered were, although upfront material costs were greater than comparable conventional solution, whole life costing, savings, customer experience benefits and road worker safety benefits were impressive. When considering our original scheme objectives, Ultigrip delivered a verified 370,000 whole life cost saving compared with multiple applications of traditional high friction surfacing. 28 days of junction closures will be saved over its serviceable life, reduced manpower requirement on site over its serviceable life amounted to 2,800 hours. Impressive numbers. This image is of Woodhead Bypass, an ultigrip ulti scheme that Tarmac Contracting completed for A1+. I would like to share a film of this scheme with you. The scheme shows ultigrip being laid with the same laying techniques as a conventional thin surface course, uh, with the addition of bauxite grit spread immediately prior to compaction. The calcium bauxite grit is applied to the asphalt to accelerate the wearing off of the binder film to provide early exposure of the aggregates.
In summary, what does Altigraph deliver? Reduce risk typically lasts three times longer than anti-skid services, reducing the risk of accidents and legal, costly legal claims. Improved asset management. Whilst the initial cost of Altigraph installation is significantly higher than HFS, the surface delivers lower life cost compared to conventional surfacing and anti-grip, anti-skid approach when considering the typical product lifespan and construction costs. A longer life cycle is a key lever in providing more sustainable highways through durability. Faster completion, the asphalt is laid quickly in a single pass, reducing costs and minimizing disruption to the road user. I would like to thank you for joining this session. Uh, session and if you have any questions, please use the uh, live chat. Thank you.